at half time, Craig looked fairly an animated. You've, you've been around him for, <laughs> for a long time now. Was that one of the bigger serves that he's given you, or nothing special? Um, oh, I think it was, it was well overdue. Uh, I didn't show enough energy. Like it's, it's a bit like the Penrith game. We're up, I think, 14 points against Penrith, and then vice versa, 12 points against Newcastle. And um, nine times out of ten, the old Melbourne Storm teams just put them away. And, um, and didn't give anyone an opportunity to come back and give momentum again. So it's a bit of a frustrating thing. Um, no disrespect to Newcastle, they played a really good game of footy um, and we just didn't play the st standard and high level of, of footy that we, we expect of each other as, as a club and as a player. And um, yeah, like I said, you've got to be consistent every week um, and play good footy every week because anyone can beat you on your day. Um, and that's that's the reason at the moment is just those inconsistencies as players and as a group. Um, it's really hurting the club. I know we're still in the top four, but um, we've got a hard run home and we need to make sure we find some consistency, otherwise it could be the similar year to last year. Are you worried about losing your place in the Oh, we've got a hard run home. I'm um, not going to sugarcoat it. We need to play our best footy in the next six to seven weeks to even get in the top four and or stay in the top four. So, um, yeah, we've got to do everything we can um, and improve and, and try and find what's, what's that missing piece that we're lacking at the moment and, and find our identity and see what, what's going on with us at the moment because we're showing good patches in the first 15, 20 minutes and then kind of fading away. I don't think it's fitness levels, I think it's just a mindset and mental um, strength at the moment. Just just not getting ourselves in certain positions and us as leaders, myself, Yuzi, Harry, uh, we need to start take, taking a step up and, and start um, helping these younger boys get around the field and, and being a bit more consistent in certain areas and trying to shut the game out. Have, have the leaders done anything different th this week or will you look to do anything different if it is an issue of, of your mindset? Oh yeah, I think it's just got to probably experience of veteran players in the in the group need to just stand up and take a bit more ownership and, and of, of the group. We got a young squad, um, and that's no excuse. Um, there's obviously a lot of young players coming in through and playing some really good footy. But for us as a group, our, vet, our leaders need to take more of a stand, and, and that's myself, um, Husey, Walsh, our skipper, and and Harry, and trying to lead these younger boys around a bit more in, in certain areas of the game. Um, we're just falling away at parts and um, certain. I think it was like 10 minutes before half time, we let them three or four tries in, and um, that's, not our, that's not our mindset or our, us as a club. So we need to make sure we get it right because, um, like Para, anyone on their day can make you pay. It's such a congested ladder, isn't it? That there just isn't much wriggle room that you could find yourself. I mean, I don't know, even out of the eight, I suppose there's not really much between even like people, teams coming 12th and 8th. Everyone, sort of, a lot of teams are still in the contention finals. Yeah, we were just probably lucky that. Um, Manly played well against the Sharks on the weekend, otherwise we'd probably be not in the top four. So look, it's um, just shows, um, regardless of what you're on the ladder, um, and what I spoke about before, anyone can beat anyone on their day at the moment with the new rules, the new six agains, um, the momentum of the game, and um, yeah, you could be the best team for the first 15, 20 minutes, and um, it can just go very pear-shaped from there, and it's, it's just what is happening for us at the moment. I'll be able to swing the momentum and, and changing um, the momentum, regardless of the 50-50 calls or um, the six agains or the, the penalties that we're giving away. Um, we just, at the moment, we're just not staying in the fight and, and that's probably our mental side at the moment is probably looking for the easy kill or the easy option at the moment. When Craig speaks about the, the care of the players, potentially questioning that the players care in some ways, what, how do you take that? Oh, I take it pretty personally. Um, regardless of the talent or um, that we've got in our team, um, it's about competing and um, the things that we lacked on the weekend weren't skill-based. Um, they were all pretty much attitude driven, um, making your tackles and wanting to compete for everything. And they just competed harder than us on, on Saturday, which was pretty disappointing for us. Um, well, like Bellyaches, I think, spoke about in the press conference, we can, we can, we can cop a loss if they're better on the day, but um, when teams are beating you in effort areas and, um, and hard, running harder than you and tackling harder, that's where he can't cop it. And that's uh, rightly so. He's been based on her a, a work hard mentality and effort areas and um, that's why this club's been so successful is they do those little things well and been working hard for each other and those games that we've lost and um, the, the games that he's been disappointed in this is the ones that we've been lacking er effort areas in and um, I've been at the club a long time and I can't remember the last time we've been beaten in the effort areas so many times this year. On the positive side though if you do change that attitude are you confident that you can you know turn it around for the for a full, full game? Yeah we just probably just need a bit of confidence at the moment unfortunately the boys have probably been hitting Hit where it hurts at the moment with Bellyache um, with the egos and the boys are probably hurt a little bit but in saying that we've just got to have a really good training week, play well against Para, 
regardless of the result, hopefully we go out there and compete in, in those effort areas that I just spoke about that Belag wants to see from the group and um, just that attitude swing, that's all we need and um, just takes a couple of weeks and if we can get that going and, and have a good five or six weeks going in the finals and hopefully stay in the top four, um, yeah, it will hopefully be good for us at the back end of the year. Parra might be feeling a bit the same as you guys, like falling to the Cowboys, they would have been pretty unhappy I suppose with their performance. Yeah, they've got some players out as well, so it's not ideal for them. Um, they've got obviously Regan Campbell Gillard and Michael Sivo, so there's some pretty big, big bodies for them. Um, so they'll continue to be obviously harder for them coming down to Melbourne, but they'll strive. Um, Brad Arthur's obviously an ex-coach of the Melbourne Storm, and um, he'll do everything he can to try and beat us at our home ground. Um, we've always had a good rivalry against them since probably 2017, so um, yeah, it's going to be a great clash, and um, we've got to play our best to, to give ourselves every opportunity. Just a word on Daly Cherry Evans, uh, heading into his 300th game, of course. Um, tell us about him as a player, your experience with him, and, and I guess your expectations on how much more football he has in it. Yeah, he's, he's, everyone keeps probably writing him off and saying how overrated he is, but um, he's one of, obviously, skippers for two years in a row of Origin Series. Um, it's a, a massive feat for himself and his family playing 300 games, and for one club too. Um, it's pretty rare these days that you get to play 300 games for one club. Um, obviously everything's a business and a lot of clubs these days get rid of you or vice versa players aren't happy where they are so um, very very happy for my mate um, Ches, the big fossil so um, hopefully he plays well on the weekend and um, I'm sure he's got a couple more years left in him um, and I'm sure he'll make the right decision whether he wants to hang him up but I think he's playing his probably best footy this year and um, he's still pretty fast as as everyone's seen against him in the Origin game too with Stephen Crichton so he's still got the, the K's in his legs um, so yeah, I'm sure he's, he's going to be around for a little bit longer than everyone expects.